Hello and welcome back to another video of me here today. Show us Travis's life and I'm using different recorder now which should hopefully not lag as much in my videos. And today we're going to do another microbit project. This, today this project is going to be the multiple and a Sorry, it's, it's a typo here, I'm a bit slow. Um, multiple animation bit. And today we're just going to make a very simple product, which is our micro bit without actually having to um, do it on star or forever, just do one thing. We can now have, have up to three, possibly even more animations here. Um, I had an ICT lesson today, so we did a bit of this in it. I'm just going to show you some basic stuff. Um, it's just going to be like this. And this is our basic animation. Going up to the side. So when you press A, this happens. So that's all well and good. We can, as you can see, we have A, we have B, we have A and B, and we also have on shake with all these different positions here. Um, and there's also on pins. So pins are these bits here. So you have three of them we can use, and uh, we can use that to help us have as many as we want. Today we're going to make a basic mood one using just the A and B. So let's get started with, well that's if you want to just show one image, we're making animations, so why don't we make this into the animation we had before. Um, it's a shame I did that wrong. There you go. There you go, there's our trophy. And then we'd want to duplicate, not that one. <laughs> so I did this today, I'm not sure why I'm so slow. There we go. Probably should just use to have a script to be honest. There it goes so now upon pressing the A key, we have a trophy animation again. That is fun. So I'll go and duplicate this and do animation for B. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so the animation is a different one. And so it's doing all this actually to be honest. Right. So turn down that. Maybe I won't be so loud now. Um, please don't phone. I don't want emails. Oh, it's just Razor. Okay, so we're going to get back to S. We are going to do 
a smiley face animation. This is a very basic one. Before it's going to disappear. Don't comments. Um also thank you for ba um the burst and fuse on that previous one. Um so I had quite a lot of them. And that uh, is quite good information to tell me what kind of things you lot want to see. There you go, that's a fixed one in the loop. There you go, so we now have a scrolling trophy going upwards. And we have a scrolling mouth, a happy face going sideways. So now we're going to do another one where it's going to be upon the pins being used. So the way you use the pins is um so you'd hold you have this pin here. You can tell what level you're doing it at apparently that's a new thing I didn't know about. Um um you can just touch a pin and it will tell you the micro bit sorry that you're touching it and it will say oh hey this pin to impressed, do what needs to be required. So, for that, we're going to have a sad face one. Here we go. Here is our full sad face arriving now. That's very sad. And we're going to Finish this off. Okay, so we'll end at roughly the same time, which is interesting. So now, if we press pin zero, we see we get a sad face. So, this is a simple example, there are many more pins. As I said, there are different options in on shake, and you have three options for buttons. That's my video today. I'm not going to show you a demonstration on the watch it is on the mic a bit, as I'm sure you'll be able to know. But the pin, um, you just want to be careful if you are doing the pin option and you have a physical mic a bit, that you are holding both the back and the front of it, and then it will be able to tell you holding it. I try to stay if you just press the front one. Yeah, if you just press the front one, it won't be able to detect much, or it'll just be very weak. So let's just save this machine. Yeah, 
thank you for this video today. I hope you've had a good time and see you in another one.